I am so excited to start this project. <laughs> and welcome to my front entryway. <laughs> this is old school. Oh, who's coming? Hi, Max. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay, goodbye. Here is the before footage in all of its retro glory. Behind the aging and disrepair that this room has fallen into though, you can see the detail, you can see the beautiful trim and molding. It's just, it is thoughtfully made. The only thing I was sure of at the start of this project was the need to protect this original newel post and handrail. This, this beautiful newel post, definitely going to preserve. However, there is a giant problem. <laughs> First of all, these stairs have been painted a really ugly color. I don't know if I'm going to be able to successfully strip them of their paint, so that will be an experiment. But the other thing is, if you follow this rail post all the way to the top, you will see that it was cut off, and then they installed this awful wall at the top, which a lot of homes do when they don't want to use the upstairs anymore. They want to just box it off so that they're not wasting heat. But they literally sawed off the rail. And I have a piece of it that's just randomly out there, but not the whole thing. So I don't know yet what I'm going to do about the rail post. There's things to do. So it begins today by tearing up the carpets. Let's talk about paint because I struggled here, clearly. <laughs> you all know, if you've been watching this video, that I'm having some fun with paint. I'm painting the floor in my bedroom pink, the trim in this room purple and blue, etc. With this room, I wanted to do something interesting and cool and fun, but I also wanted to do something sort of neutral in that I knew because it was a transition space, like sight lines you can see from this room through the hallway into the living room vice versa you can see through it you're walking through it from kind of a more wild room to more of a wild room i wanted it to not feel like you were in a fun house just going from crazy room to crazy room so i started playing with this blue color i'd seen this image on pinterest and i thought wow i love this i love this so much but i couldn't nail down the exact shade of blue and just like the more I tried different blues, the more I struggled with blue. There's just something about blue that I'm finding very difficult. <laughs> and this has happened to me in the current room I'm renovating as well. Blue is not being friendly to me. So I then started playing with greens and almost immediately that felt better to me. It felt more appropriate, but then it was about finding the perfect shade of green, the perfect type of green. Eventually, I, well, I knew I was really close and I ended up custom blending my own green, taking a lighter shade and a darker shade and blending them together to make my own shade of green. And I really like it. It feels a little bit Victorian. It feels like it suits this home. It feels kind of elegant, but still interesting because the whole room is going to be painted green. 
as you will see. So actually it was like weeks of me playing with different colors to try and figure out what I was trying to land on. But I am now very happy with the color that I picked. <laughs> But I'm definitely leaning, I think, between the lightest one and the middle one. The other thing we need to talk about is the paint on the stairs. My original plan was to strip the stairs of their paint, as you can see here, because it's lead paint. So I didn't want to sand it off since that would be dangerous. So I thought I'll strip it off and then we'll have the beautiful wood underneath. I can stain it and take care of it. But something weird happened <laughs> while this was happening. I had the most like irked feeling I've ever had while doing a house project. The smell of this paint stripper and just something about the vibe of paint stripping made me feel bad. Partly like, I mean, ill, but also just wrong. I didn't like it. I did not like the sensation of stripping it and the, the mainly the smell. Even though I was in front of an open front door and I had like, you know, ventilation, I didn't like it. So I literally bailed on it and I decided to just paint the stairs all green. I thought they would still look good. And since I was going to have the banisters looking beautiful, that that would be enough. And I'm happy with my decision. I know some people are going to wish I stripped the stairs, but I, I tried and it made me feel very ill. <laughs> situation. So we are going to replace these spindles with pretty spindles. Wait, where's the spindles? Currently my car is full of spindles. It's a car full of spindles. <laughs> it's probably one of my greatest Facebook finds. It's kind of hilarious. I don't know if your car has ever been full of spindles before, but it's ridiculous. Um, these spindles are terrible and I tried recording a clip so you could kind of see the situation. It doesn't show up very well. Just in real life, they look really dingy. Like they've been painted too many times and just haven't weathered well. So on Facebook Marketplace, I got these spindles. They look so regal and beautiful. Apart from just aesthetics and wanting to upgrade this staircase to look even more regal, um, and by the way, the, I'm not done painting it. But the other reason that we're doing this is because if you come up the stairs, and this is going to be a separate video, this upstairs hallway doesn't even have a handrail or anything. So I needed to get spindles for up here anyway. We were going to have to build a whole new handrail. And by redoing this, it will look beautiful, but it will also match. I also bought this newel post. Um... I, Father, I can't not think about Christmas story or Christmas vacation. <laughs> Fix the newel post, honey. <laughs> Fix the newel post. So that will go on that corner um, for the new rail that goes around to there. Oh, oh, it's just screws. Okay, we have lift off. Uh, <laughs> things have to get worse before they get better. Uh, here you can see, well, it doesn't, it's, they're stuck with little nails. It's kind of horrible, but here you can see. Hello everyone. Okay, it's 10, it's 10 p.m. How the time has flown. This has been a really busy day. 
but regardless uh so much progress this looks extremely modern um almost avant-garde like the concept of a handrail but not the handrail itself <laughs> and upstairs is it looks amazing like this doesn't look amazing it looks horrible but like all of that horrible wood is gone it's so exciting we, we're getting there so it's late but i am going to paint because let me flip the camera so the stairs definitely need another coat or two of the floor enamel paint but when the spindles were still here it was really hard to paint around them and it was just really annoying and finicky so i'm taking this opportunity when they're down to paint these this edge of each stair so it shouldn't take me very long and then it can dry overnight and then um, when we apply the spindles, it will look so much nicer because it will be really nicely painted all the way around. So opportunity to, to do this is unfortunately at 10 p.m., but that's the way it is. It's hard painting stairs, there's Max, because people need the, to use the stairs. <laughs> okay, folks, we have updates. Things are happening. You can see the little sliver that I painted last night on all of these edges. It is now time to start working on these boys. We do need to cut them down. Obviously these were not custom. I bought them from somebody else's house. Um, so they don't fit perfectly. So we need to cut the bottoms and stuff. Okay, everyone, we've changed strategy. We've realized dowels are the way to go. So here's a top tip. All right, so we're gonna cut about an inch and a quarter, not much more. There we go. Nice. But you can see, even already, you can see that it's got little splits and things on it, yep. right? And you don't want that. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna stick it in our drill very lightly, and take a piece of sand, coarse sandpaper, and now, amazing. And now we have a little bevel on it. Right? And it's smooth. Soft. It's going to fit in there, no problem. Amazing. Amazing. Top tip. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, look. Look at this. Oh my God. We've started putting them in, um, not affixed fully to the top. You can see this one's leaning back because he's not in. But it looks so beautiful. It is time for me to wake up and to head over there to grab one of those overalls and finish painting the room. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Don't think about that. We're making coffee. Okay, people, let's take stock of the situation, and it is a good situation indeed. So, this is the big reveal of the staircase and how unbelievably spectacular it looks. I, I, I'm shocked. Now, maybe I'm not shocked. I thought it would look good, but every single time I walk past this staircase, I just kind of stop and stare at it for a second. It looks so spectacularly epic and gorgeous and beautiful. Um, just, yeah, outstanding. So obviously though, what's missing is the ceiling and maybe on camera, you can tell a little bit of how patch, there's like patches, cause this is only the first coat of paint. So I am going to go in today, I'm going to paint the ceiling. I'm going to do the second coat of paint everywhere. And then tonight I'll do the second coat of paint on the floor and on the stairs so that while we're sleeping it dries. Don't look up there, that's awful. <laughs> that's another video in another time. Look at how bad this looks. 
This is ins This is the the shit that was left over from the carpet. Oh god. And also, yes, I did just kind of paint over it a while ago because my friend Raylene visited and I wanted her to get the kind of vibe of the, that this was all gonna be green. Just slightly look better, but now it's time to actually make it look good. <laughs> Okay, I just got these guys all ready. And oh, they're so beautiful. That is so pretty. I can't wait to hang these up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the hallway is done. It looks so good. <laughs> I'm noticing that in the light, uh, this particular sunlight, it's looking a little more green. It's a much calmer sage color. Maybe you don't care about that. I wanted to clarify. This was a really fun project. I thought it was gonna be a lot simpler than it turned out being. But just because this room has so much trim and molding and everything, it took a long time to paint um, and then to do a second coat and then a third coat. Um, but also doing the stairs was tricky. I would paint every other stair and then let it sleep for a night. And then the next day or day after, I'd paint every other other stair. <laughs> um, and then obviously the main big challenge was the spindles. But can we take a moment of appreciation for the spindles? Wow, they're perfect. And me and my dad were saying, it almost feels like we didn't do anything in this room when we put in the spindles, as in they look like they always belonged here. It looks like we didn't make a big decision. We just restored this hallway to its former glory. I really like the idea of keeping it simple, of, you know, we have the three frames over there and the two carpets on the ground. By the way, those carpets I got on Facebook Marketplace, uh, both of them together for $40, which was an insane find. And maybe eventually one day I'll put something up here, but it sort of depends on what I end up doing upstairs to tie everything together. The final thing I wanted to point out that is extremely exciting is that now that this hallway is done, it means that the front half of the house, maybe not even a full half, but of the downstairs, so it really is not half, is done. You can go from the living room to the hallway to my office and vice versa, and they're all finished, and it's pretty damn nice. There's like little details and stuff that I need to finish. One big gaping problem here is that for some reason there's no doorstop between that room and this room. It was just removed at some point for unknown reasons. So I'm going to have to make one. Um, but it's pretty cool getting to kind of go transition between three rooms that used to look like this shot and now look like this. 
It's amazing. Okay, everyone, right before we go, I bring you the holiday view of the beautiful staircase to thank our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey with thousands of classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. Whether you're just trying to learn about a new hobby and get some beginner classes, or you're already really talented at something and you just wanna dive deeper and finesse those skills, they have so many classes to pick from and because of their membership model, there's no ads and they have so many subtitles for different languages that open it up to even more people. I've really enjoyed their creative writing courses over the year, but also their home renovation stuff about interior design. They have this really beautifully produced original called Style Your Space, Creative Tips and Techniques for Interior Design by Emily Henderson, who used to do HGTV content, knows so much about interiors, and in this course gives tips about colors, picking your palette, using trends in a way that will last, etc. So if you want to check out Skillshare this holiday time, check out my link down below. And thank you again so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this renovation. You can see from the Halloween decorations all the way to the Christmas decorations how long it took me to do. <laughs> I've had so much fun sharing my renovations with you over the last year. I think I have one more coming out before the end of the year. So I hope you enjoyed that as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.